where you last left off in the yawning portal at the table with Volo and Floon as well, who's quite still quite wounded. <laughs> and Volo say, say asking for forgiveness. Kill him. Because he does not have the money that he promised you, but instead offers you a deed. And he slips it across the table towards you guys. The paper, that is. Yes, I, I, I forgive me, I could not require the, the funds, but I can pay you in another way. I hope this deed to a place called Troll Skull Manor will be satisfactory to you. Uh, I know the address, of course. And I could easily set up a magistrate meeting so we could exchange ownership. Uh, can I evaluate the deed to see roughly about how much it's worth? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, roll... Hmm... What do you think is the most adequate role for this? Uh, is it like an appraisal kind of close option? I forgot what the difference between wisdom and intelligence is, so I don't know. Uh, uh, well, you're investigating to see it's I'd legitimate. I'd say it's probably investigation. Yeah, I would yeah. say investigation. Yeah, yeah investigation. Not like appraisal. Yeah, definitely. Fuck. Honest. Well, well, we might get the feeling, out early. <laughs> the feeling it's legit, the deed, as you're looking it over. You'd uh, have to. Yeah. I think it looks legit. I just wanted to know roughly if it's worth what he says it's worth. Well, if it's a manor, it's worth much, much, much more than what you were originally offered. Than 400 gold. Or 400 gold. Or dragons, literally. Uh, you, you've lived in the, the, the you've lived in the city, Lennis. You would know that if a manor, it, it, like a per ownership of a manor, would cost anywhere from two thousand gold to five thousand gold. Okay, so this is yeah. All right, this is a big deal. I'll uh. I'll take the I'll take the deed and kind of look over it, um, and then uh, after a few minutes of like reading through it, making sure everything is up and up and up, I'll uh, yes, uh, a meeting with the magistrate would be would be great if we were to accept this. And I look to the rest of them. Would you would do you believe this to be the payment you require to everybody else? That might never help best, Jonathan, but. I get to live in a house now? Oh shoot, man. This is rather nice. I've not actually owned a home ever, as far as I can remember. That being said, I am kind of curious. You said the you said the manor name of the stream was Troll Skull Manor. Yeah, it's just called Troll Skull Manor. Yeah. Well, I know anything about that stream. <laughs> uh, roll a history check. He, right, just, cool. <laughs> he just taps the D and he's just like, I'm going to leave this here, and he just leaves. <laughs> Sorry, I missed something here. You said history, right? Yes. Haha. -ha. <laughs> nah, you can't recall anything about a troll true. skull manor. Volo, do you know the history of this manor, and how did you come to come across the deed? Why is it named Troll Skull Keep? Or manor. Manor, <laughs> not keep. <laughs> but uh. Yes, I, I corrected myself. Thank you. <laughs> I uh. I uh was hoping to. Well, I, I outbid certain opponents in a bidding contest for it. It seemed to be abandoned due to its owner, uh, untimely death. The previous owner was untimely death, and no one was next of kin. So it went up for sale in an auction. And I outbid the others on it. Was the owner's death mysterious? Uh, nothing I heard about was related to that. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Sounding disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It was a, a nice opportunity for me. Well, I mean... And and it is worth your friend's life in order to. Of course, hmm. I, I I cannot. I always repay my uh, promises, fill my promises, and I just find myself utterly lacking coin at the moment. But I, I have this at my disposal. It isn't as important as to me as uh, you might think. I, I never stay in one place for tr truly that long. Yeah, I can get that. I, I hope you also remember me next time I stop by. I mean, if you yes. have any more mysteries, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, sign well, of good goodwill as well. The gesture is appreciated, but I do have a few qu extra questions I mean, uh, in regard to. Like I said, if you if you're questioning the offer, I can I can lead you there today and show you the place. No, no, I had other questions. Oh, okay. About something else. Continue. We ran afoul of the Xanath. I'm gonna kind of quiet down and kind of glance around, make sure no one's listening. We may, we may have ran afoul of the Xanathar Guild. Gang. Gang. Not uh, Guild Gang. Were they... Was that... Who was... Who did this to Floon? Floon's... <laughs> yes. <laughs> we suspect. And then I lean forward. We killed mostly everybody there, except for this one guy. Floon, do you, do you know who... Who... Messed you up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Both eyes swollen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I, I, I. They never gave names. They just asked questions. I didn't have much time to really <laughs> investigate what they really were associated with or looked like. Just they're just ruffians that just grabbed me out of nowhere. Ruffians who had a mind flayer with them. Is that what that, Wait, do I that, know what a mind that beast was on the throne? Wait, that monstrosity? I use mo I use minor illusion and cast like the image of the mind flayer again with the uh, intellect devourer. But it's Polo, like, like, st like kind of jumps up out of his seat, like, good, good gods! Is that? Uh, <laughs> and then I dissipate it. That, that is a mind flayer. You saw a mind flayer down below, and you lived. Not only did we see it, we fought it, and Near it escaped. Nearly killed it. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't I see knew. you running after. We that. heard it pretty significantly, but it escaped, which makes me think that if if anybody's, well, I think there's going to be a uh, people after us from now on. Well, of all those tits back there, I'm like, huh. well, count your lucky stars, because that's, I mean, no offense, but you don't seem to be that extremely tough to take out a mind flare. Hashtag offended. Well. We we <laughs> planned very well and took out the the mind flare, or we took out the mind failure's pet, the intellect of hour. An intellect of hour, and a wizard. Well, he had this, and I held up the, uh, the 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 spell book on him, and he was whipping your friend with a fire whip. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> I suddenly realize how weird this sounds. <laughs> just whipping him. Just whip Everyone in the bar is now looking over. Just whipping him good. <laughs> I assure you, Floon was not enjoying it. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no, I, I wasn't. I wasn't at all. Oh, I can't get enough of this meal, though. Thank you again. <laughs> I really wish you could see it, Floon, with your swollen eyeballs right now. <laughs> mm, but my taste buds feel it. That's a candle. <laughs> oh. uh, we should probably get him to a hospital now. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you mind letting me see that uh, spell book? Full sure. of offers? I'll hand it to him. I'm a part-time wizard myself. And he opens <laughs> it and looks through it carefully. The book explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Some uh, interesting spells here. Maybe not very high class, but uh, I assume this would be a, a good amount of money for it. And he 
Yeah, slides it back sure. across. I'd offer to buy it myself, but like I said, I'm lack of funds right now. I nod. You know anybody who would be willing to buy it? This uh, does me very little good. Sure, there's 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 uh, many aspiring uh, wizards or bookkeepers in town that you could sell to. Well, not just bookkeepers, but magical bookkeepers, of course. Understood. But uh, yeah, Xanathar, you 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 know this for sure that they were the Xanathar. They had eye symbol symbology all over the place. Yes, they can't can't get enough of that, or else they die to Xanathar himself. Who is Xanathar? One of the guards mentioned the Beholder, but I don't know much more about him than that. Well, it's it's pretty much all you need to know is that it is a Beholder. Is it the same Beholder? Unlikely. Is it the same Beholder from last year? Also unlikely. Xanathar is a near nearly a, a namesake that passes on between beholders who kill each other for the throne. Like a title? The title. You could also say. <laughs> Out of game, I actually didn't know that. Not me either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my. One super well, beholder. <laughs> holy shit, we actually learned this something. This is <laughs> concerning. But that does also explain the, um, uh, the gazer we saw. Mm, yes, the horrors of a... a uh, a beholder itself come to manifest in reality. I, I wrote a book on this. <laughs> Buy for two gold. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you seem to have come out okay. You, you you hardly even look wounded compared to Floon here. I cover the hole in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you actually hurt? <laughs> Oh, you're barely hurt. Five. <laughs> because I fucking drink a health potion. <laughs> it was 10 he damage. He you got credit. Yeah. He got credit hard. <laughs> Literally the first attack. Wham! Right in the throat. <laughs> what a flashback to the fucking sky. I think gun. that was the only hit in the entire, it entire was. dungeon. <laughs> and it rolled one yeah. against me. It's like critical. <laughs> and the rest was on me, and I dodged him. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking fire HP. <laughs> well. Looks like the, the attack hit the right uh, opponent. Hey, Barbarian? <laughs> Soaking up the damage. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I hate you right, but fuck you. Um... <laughs> well, I... I uh, this is... You should be on your feet if the, the Mind Flare got away. He can probably recognize you now. More so than just your physical appearance. Your oh, own thoughts. I wore a mask, and I was thinking of butterflies at the time. Oh, did, you, did you not just hear that I could just said that they could read your <laughs> thoughts? That's why I was thinking of butterflies. Everyone okay. thinks of butterflies. Oh, all right. And he was mightily confused. Maybe that's why he ran away. Mm. <laughs> These guys are crazy. I gotta get uh, out. Of <laughs> I, I, we, um, the mind flare escaped through a portal. That he activated with a symbol on the, on a, on a, uh, pillar. a pillar. Mm. He put in a little, uh, socketed in a stone. A, a portal opened, and then he went through the portal, and the portal closed. I destroyed the symbol on the pillar. Do you think that would prevent them from coming back? Uh, did you? Well, I had our good friend here, Gil, destroy the pillar, pillar symbol. Thumbs up. And and this this <laughs> pillar was in. Uh, a base of theirs? It was just outside the room they were whipping Floon in. But yes. Well, I I know they're, they have many hidden bases and hideouts situated around town. It surprises me to learn that they uh, would invest so heavily in one for a magic portal, it seems. A permanent magic portal. One the likes of which I'm not too familiar with. Probably something aberrant, like the beholders themselves. Well, that's con that's promising. I cannot actually say, since it's aberrant, if that actually has stopped the connection between the two. Normally, I'd say yes, but no idea for sure. Well, we'll just assume that it's still active. 
for now. Better that than assuming it's not and have them come through it anyway. That's worrying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what now? And I kind of look to the rest of the guys. Well, I'm still psyched over that house, so. <laughs> I suppose we should go and investigate the house then. Ooh, that'd probably be the best course of action. Ooh, booby trap the house too. Starts for what? <laughs> <laughs> you like enter. We we're like welcome to our home, and there's like a ballista right in the front door, like right facing the front door. It's like just ignore that. Step aside. We just all we just all, we just all look at Volo like, really, dude? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Who wants some cookies and just 80 arrows go into the door? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I would recommend we uh, check it out. Maybe we can also start sprucing the place up if this is where we shall be bunking from now on. Ah, sprucing is just, it's just a thing. M Mr. Volo? <laughs> uh, yes. Do you yes. know anything about a gang that has like shards in its name? They're, I think there are a lot of were rats, like a were rat gang. Um, he thinks to himself for a moment. Uh, no, I'm not. Not too familiar with any shard-related gangs. Okay. I'm almost. Is that your I'm... friend that you made down in the Vip sewers. Yes, I'm almost a. Was member. he a real? He was a were rat. Yeah, he was a halfling. His name was Rascal. He was quite nice. You, you made a friend? Yes. <laughs> With a rare rat? <laughs> yeah, I did. He was really aggressive at first, but I complimented his eyes, and now we're best friends. Well, I suppose he hasn't succumbed to his beastly side yet. Oh, hey, no. He didn't was... I hear you chanting some magical words before that? I think that was just the sewer water running. Thing, you can hear things, crazy things, but I may have to, you know, um, re-flatter him in the future. It's just my darn good looks. I, people, no, wait, oh. you told us. You, you charmed him. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you literally uh, told us. <laughs> a reliable spell, one that I keep in my own spell book. Certainly. And I wish that my peers... I'm, I'm getting into another voice. I can't just. <laughs> I I'm I stand quiet because now I'm like flustered because I was exposed. Tell us. I remember that. <laughs> so you'd like to go see the manor? Sure. Yes, and we can arrange yeah. for the transfer yeah. of the deed. Well, Lolo stands up and then pats fluid on his shoulder. Like, you just stay here and recover. I'm, I'm sure uh, some of the patrons could help you with those wounds. I'm sure Floon screams in pain as he pats him on the shoulder because he was just whipped. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> oh, good luck with that, Floon. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> hey, man, at least a flaming whip self cauterizes the wound, okay? <laughs> Ain't gonna get infected, maybe not, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so you step outside and oh my god, I why I've been looking for exactly where Troll Skull Manor is. On the map. And all they give you is that it's it's Trolls Troll Skull Alley. <laughs> not <laughs> it's not anything more. It's the entire it's the entire like length of the alley. So I'm gonna assume it's in the castle ward. Not not too far away. Just follow me. Right. Yep, I'll follow. Yep. All right. So like uh, a good thirty minutes later, or even less than that, you uh make it to an uh, a street that has a large alleyway off shooting from it it is one of the main streets in the region there are a lot of people walking past but the alleyway that's to the side of you has a building that looks like this i almost got it you get it 
there. It looks like that. Oh, that's not fucking evil, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, cool. it looks there, so dry. This, there she is. What? Troll Skull Manor. The Spencer Estate. I mean, the Troll Skull Manor. <laughs> the Spencer Estate? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking Resident Evil bullshit manor. <laughs> it it, it looks these, lovely. Don't <laughs> don't mind the boarded up doors. You sure? Windows. Second door windows, third door windows, Was all it? boarded up in the ravens, <laughs> and the crows, and the and dead trees, watching you. <laughs> and, and the Amis fog. It's a great place. Was there a I... fire? No. Oh, no, ravens are delicious. <laughs> Someone should burn this down already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you should you should be you should have access to uh, within that the files I gave you, the blueprint that's on there as well. Is this Bolo talking or? <laughs> Yeah, no. no. <laughs> this is Volo talking. Yeah. Oh, in the doc in the documents we have that. <laughs> it's like files. I will. Hmm. Hmm? Where's the handout for that specific? <laughs> Gil's gonna press X to doubt when he yeah. looks at this plane. <laughs> there, I see it. There. There we go. Oh, oh, geez. Now we get to play. Hey, we get to play house now. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. A ritual sacrifice room. That's a weird addition. What are you definitely. talking about? <laughs> no, no. Where is it? He's like, it's, I it's, scrubbed it's, that clean. I mean, fuck, 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 fuck. As you see, it offers many, many floors. And on the bottom floor, it has its own tavern, separate from the manor above. All right, then. So the master bedroom. I, I, I suppose you could decide between each other who mm. gets what. Well, we want to inspect it first. Certainly. Of course. Uh, let me take you to a new map. I'm, this is very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> you already gave us. You already handed us this map. I'm un, I'm I'm unsure what you're referring. to. I'm going to drag, a, drag and drop us inside the manor now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like I'm being gripped by a white gloved hand. <laughs> Let's blow Shadow's house. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, not, I'm not feeling it. Not uh... feeling it. <laughs> so I look around. Am I like the only one excited about this place? Because, man, I am hyped. <laughs> There's like probably Gil's... 17 ghosts in there. <laughs> Dude, ghosts tell the best stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about. I didn't. I didn't give any. God. Wait a second. I've haunted there... for 70 thousand years. One time, <laughs> I walked in on a girl reading a book. She screamed so loud <laughs> that. How loud she screamed. <laughs> the de the levels were at 4,022 <laughs> decibels. <laughs> If I was in the afterlife, I thought I might have died again. So, oh, it's kind of impossible for me to tell. Actually, never mind. I can do this. Believe in yourself. <laughs> wow. All right. So, <laughs> in front of in front of you, Lennis, is the door, the staircase up to the second floor where the manor is. And towards towards uh Gill to the left is the the way towards the front door to the tavern. Wait, we have oh, a tavern? Yes. Yep, in the you, basement. You, you yeah, have to go exactly. down a bit, yeah. Yep. Is there, oh, is there a second floor? Oh, there's a second floor. Yes. Oh, yeah, there uh, is. If, yeah. you, if you go up the stairs, let me know if you go up the stairs, and I'll bring yeah. you to the second floor. Okay. Uh, all right, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Grab us. Gotcha. <laughs> Hold on. We're at, we all one, like, one at a time. Almost immediately. Bye, girl. <laughs> help Keith, I'm going to be insufferable because I'm going to run all the way to the fucking roof. So, <laughs> you know. I feel like I'm about to get phased. Oh my god, you're all jumping everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was going to front. I ain't going in yet. Fuck that. <laughs> any any doorway? <sighs> okay. There's so many fucking doorways. You guys can't <laughs> pass through the doorway, can you? You're stuck. Uh, nope. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, oh, you can go through the window. You can do that. All right, I'll, I delete, oh, I'll, delete all the, I'll delete all the I'll delete all the doorways. Wait, wait, come, come. So there's a tavern here. Yeah. 
I will go downstairs and check the tavern if anyone's right. Okay, me. okay, I got yeah. this. I got this. I see, sir. I, 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 yeah. the, the gnome already went through the, the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> it was open. It was, it was, there, there were no boards. So, so, she's smiling up. <laughs> so, the whole time, <laughs> Vol is super flexible. Are, are you going up those stairs? I think I saw a library on the third floor, right? Okay, so you're going up Ooh. to here. Excuse me, what kind of service is this? I want a drink. Are these going up or down where I'm at? Uh, you say that. And a, a cup comes out from behind the counter and is placed in front of you. All right, well, see you later, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a bottle is pulled from the, the, the shadows somewhere below the counter. And a little pop goes, and it pour, and the, the bottle levitates over to in front of you, and a liquid is being being poured into your cup. Uh huh. All work and no play make Jack a dull boy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny. I... Make sure we secure all axes. I take... I'll, I'll, God damn it! I, hold on, I gotta delete all the. I gotta delete all the di uh, the doorways first. What's being deleted? Our doors are being deleted. There will be no doors. Because it's blocking you. I know. I know what this is. We'll have no doors in this place. There are no doors. Sweet. So we There's can all no like, doors tell you. The, we're going. <laughs> oh, you let us. You're going too. Okay. Strict no door policy. I wanted to see. It, does this go up? Yes, what it I goes asked. up. Yep. Oh. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know I what got, just I happened, got, but I got that happened. Ah, elf. Ah. <laughs> Come here. I, I almost got all the doors. Almost. <laughs> So if you have the if you have the blueprint, I, I should I'm gonna unrestrict movement through uh, the doorways. Oh, there is no movement restriction. You should be able to move through. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah All right. I'm so if sure you have if you have the blueprint, uh, it's like the same blueprint as the. It's really the exact same blueprint as uh, this map. So you know where the. If you look at that, you can see where the third floor, second floor, so and so forth floor is mm -hmm. on the map, and just move in that direction. You should be able to get there yourself, without me moving you around. Gil, uh, <sighs> I'm lost in this library. Are there any readable books, or is it just all whatever? No, no, go go back to Daradema right now. Okay, just know where I am. So, yeah. Gil, what, what happened to Gil? What the but fuck? Like well, like I, I, I was going to move in because like you, you were telling everyone to move in. So oh, okay. I'm back out there. I, I, yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know. Some reason I couldn't see you for a moment. Just okay. Yeah, I was about to. Say, yeah, I, I'm outside right now still, so I don't know if you want to let me move or not. Yeah, you're welcome to move. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go in with Daredema to the uh, tavern. Gil, check this out. You can you can order your own drinks and they're served to you. <laughs> Do I see this happen? No, you, you just and... see. Are you drinking from the the, the mug? Another round, please, and I sip my mug. And when you set it down, the bottle lifts hey, again I'm here from the too. floor. That's <laughs> from the the, the, the the bar. It begins filling your cup again. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, how's it going? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gil does this as soon as he sees that happen. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what am I drinking? Uh, it, it seems like a uh, uh, cheap mead. Hmm. And I peer An over old mead. I'm sure. I peer over the uh, the counter, and is that a trap door? Yes. I hop off the stool, and I go over, and I want to try to open the trap door. I know he's a ghost. That seems really rude to go behind it, this bar. It opens. <laughs> oh God. I go down. <laughs> I can see anything. I mean, we have the blueprint for this. <laughs> we know that that goes to the basement. True, but what we don't know what's in the basement. All right. Well, once you see the uh, the sacrificial circle, let us know. I will. Is how much wine is or here? Or the summoning circle. Hmm. The wine cellar, eh? That's where he hit the victim's body. Oh, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, shit. Well, uh, we fucking leveled up, right? There's there's barrels. Yeah, I got it. If you, if you check them, they're empty. 
Fine. Okay. Take me back. There is a, a cauldron Wait. in the ale cellar itself. Empty so. cauldron? Yeah. Does it look clean or does it have residue? I mean, if you look over to it, it does seem to be quite nasty. Mm. Okay. I clamber back out of the trap door. Do you, you don't touch the cauldron, right? Nope. <laughs> DM. <laughs> okay guys there's nothing really in the in the in the wine cellar seems that they're stingy it didn't think that you know there'd be value in keeping wine later on but i guess they were real drinkers there's also a cauldron quite dirty i had a, a feeling that i was supposed to touch it i denied that it said no <laughs> so that's what's what? in the this counter serves drinks. Be amazed. <laughs> Wait, huh? Excuse me, fine gentlemen. Please, another bev a beverage for my compadre. Who are you talking to? A mug appears from behind the counter. <laughs> Just levitates what? from behind the counter itself. Yes. Is, are you at the? Are you at the counter, as well? Yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll I would have. She kept talking about something, so I would have followed. Yeah, I would have moved up to the counter. The bug is placed in front of you, and that same bottle from before is levitated over, seemingly. It begins pouring, and then it empties out into your mug. The bottle is empty. And it's, it's set down in front of you. I sit there and look at the look at the glass with the, the whatever this is in it, and I look over at a Derdinas or whatever, Daffodil. And I wait for her to take a sip first. I pick up my mug and I do a little like cheers and I take Dear Gods, Vologos. Zach <laughs> just remember his existence. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey Volo. I thought you stayed outside. Well, I, I wouldn't just stay outside. I was curious to see your feelings about that, but my, my god, well, I was I, mean, I was you, right to You purchase. haven't said anything this entire time. It's right to purchase this place, it ah, seems. His token, a V. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's a check. Oh, no, it's, a, it's, it's falling a... apart. Oh, it's, it's a half. It's a half. Hold on. <laughs> quickly. Oh, no. Quickly, the vol symbol is in the sky. <laughs> Wait. Damn it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Vol's ah, another check mark. Vol's molecules this. break down in front of the heroes. <laughs> Aha! There you go. I don't feel so good. Okay, oh, uh, I'm fine. Oh, goddamn it! I, I don't feel so good. Adventurer, he just fades away. He failed to load. Had to Tony, disintegrate. I don't, I don't feel so good. I don't back in. No. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> oh fucking a. So Volo, um, Gil point out the uh, the floaty mug ghost. <laughs> Wait, Volo transforms. All right, he's better. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> I legit thought you were gonna have him transform into a fucking. He like, went. He went like oh, yeah. werewolf. Yeah. And just like, ha ha! You followed for my trap. This is where I hide my bodies. Prepare to die. Oh no no no! Mind you, I'm not seeing anything. I'm still stuck in the stuck full of library. I I'm, I'm, I just fucking I, uh... left. <laughs> I heard it was uh haunted. It was my reasons for purchasing this place. Hmm. And he kind of brings out a, a book and starts writing, looking at the counter again. I whisper. Really, I, I was I was hoping to uh, publish a, a a book on spirits in the haunts. This is, I bought this place purely for source material. And now you're dumping it on us. Well, I didn't expect to actually manifest right in front of us. Well, I didn't manifest, but show its actions. Oh yeah, I thought you had to go in like a, a scary type of leave yourself vulnerable type of state you know when you're sleeping or something and having nightmares well when you bear your feelings everybody's vulnerable how, how, how did you how did you get it to i don't know communicate with you in this way oh um, communicate in gonna, some way i see things spirits I'm gonna drink my uh yes. i'm gonna drink some of my drink and then 
when it's about half full, I was like, can I get a top off, please? Kind of looking around, like, is this going to work? And I put the, the glass on the counter and kind of look around. The empty bottle raises up in the air, and you hear clink, 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 <laughs> and it gets set down again. Can I, I, can I, I'm going to go I back. I don't know what that means. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost. I intruded your space before, but now I'm feeling considerate. May I come behind your counter? Nothing happens. Okay. I get possessed. <laughs> as, you're, you're as, you're back there, as you're back there, you're noticing that there's just nothing really left. Like, just mugs. Some, some ratty, you know, bad mugs left, but no bottles left behind the counter. All right, so given that I am three feet, I probably don't even, like, come across the uh, counter. We can barely probably see the top of my head, maybe even less. And I'm like, Ulanis, I have alarming news. Yes? There's absolutely nothing behind this counter. <laughs> well, that's promising. Where are the booze? Well, and I downed the rest of my mug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how is it is it like decent crappy good cheap tastes bad no, it's it's, it's pretty bad Ugh, that's rough give it a little more that's rough it's stuff been marinated marinated into whiskey i think bolo how did you uh, come across this manor i'm um, just fii it's that that room's every room is empty oh so it's all fully empty yeah Ah, oh, it's the wine the fucking state library. I'll go to the attic. Nothing, nothing bad ever happens in the attic. How long? No, nothing at all. How long? <laughs> we... How long do we wait until the ghost kills Tom? <laughs> I'll take care of that now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. Finds the Hellraiser cast up there. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, time to start this, Tom. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> serious? We all run out. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Tom? That's... You're crazy. There's nothing there. Damn. <laughs> so I can be my only good role for the day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I follow. Follow. It's like I don't. Doesn't seem to be doing anything more. But, uh, how's your initial impressions? Shock. Well, we have an automatic... <laughs> well, we had an automatic booze-serving ghost. I mean... I, I, maybe just, if you, maybe, I, I can't complain maybe that much. Maybe give him more beer, he'll... Certainly. He'll more. Also wine. We have a Dude, cellar. Does, does anybody have any beer on them? <sighs> well, no goes so I have some... Curses. have some whiskey. <laughs> That'll do. Let's see. Bolo steps up to the counter. Put it in the. Put it on the counter. Puts yeah. it down on the counter. I slide him a mug. He grabs it. Kind of. On the rocks. For he looks the at dwarf. the inside, kind of grimaces a little bit, but then <laughs> sets it down. Like, uh, could I? Could I have a a glass, please? <laughs> and the whiskey. Is picked up, uncorked, well, unscrewed, and poured into his bottle, his mug. My God. Oh, very, very uh, nice of you, spirit. I, uh, I appreciate it. And he slowly takes a sip. Hmm. Keith, you're yeah, on the first whiskey. floor in the uh, tap room. Is that it? Yes. Okay. You have an idea what direction to go? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna start running straight down. So, like, but the only way to the the tap room is going outside and, and having, going around the building. And having God clutch right. you by the scrotum and lead you over here. <laughs> yes, lead me, cause it's daylight. Just figuring it out. So there you go. You did it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like a bad ghost. No. Well, I'm, uh, can I see it? Okay, as this ghost is moving, whatever this is, is moving the bottle, can I 
try to get a glimpse of like see if there's anything visible about whatever's moving this or is it completely it's completely in invisible no roll okay it's invisible right there Uh, I'm going to take my mug and slide it kind of towards the uh, the edge and say, I seem to be done with my drink. Can I get this close? It's picked up and brought behind the counter. You don't see what happens. Holy shit. I just let Jamal talk to himself in a fucking glass move. <laughs> <laughs> who's yeah, what the heck who, who's, who's Jamon? <laughs> who's Jamon? Oh, I forgot. Jumon. <laughs> A new mug is in front of you suddenly. Is it nice and clean? No. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so you can pour it, just not a good upkeep. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Are you out of rags? I say to nothing. Nothing happens. Who are you talking to? The bartender hey. ghost. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was a straight top. face. <laughs> and I look at Polo. Do you mind if I have some of your whiskey? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Go right ahead. Can I have some whiskey? I say to the air. And then before like the mug moves, I'm going to grab a spare piece of cloth and clean it. Just rub it down a little. The the try to get it as clean as bug. possible. The one I just used. Okay. The whiskey. And then I'm gonna put it back on. Is picked up. On the counter. And brought over your mug. And poured, into your mug. And then sit down. That was so fucking epic. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the mug in my hand, and I'm just gonna look at, at Tom and just take a sip. What kind of mag what kind of magic spell was that? It's not if magic. Anyone, uh, sure, by the way, know. if anyone's confused by what uh, that, oh, I have a suspicion. That is over there. I suspect. Oh, that's a fireplace. Oh. Ah, got it. Okay. Okay. I wasn't even looking okay, at it. Just make sure. I have a suspicion as to what this is, but yeah, that's a fireplace. <laughs> I, I, look at I mean, it's a ghost. <laughs> mm. Sure it is. A spirit of one who cannot let go, I assume, of his bar. Them sweet tips, bro. Or an unseen, ser unseen servant. <laughs> oh, right. Unseen servant. Bound to the bar. I forgot about that spell. Quite expensive to make it permanent, though. Yes, but I mean, this is a manor. So, uh. Usually people who own manors have the money to make something like that permanent. I mean, if you couldn't get that. Never mind. <laughs> so now what? We've investigated and had some drinks. Now what? How's the rest of the house? Mm -hmm. Empty. Well. I finally proved to win. It seems like this. Building is gonna need a lot of tender. Glennis, you notice suddenly in front of you, there's words on the the, the counter. No, mere servant. All right, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's Sassy Glennis. I like this guy. Do you? I kind of just sit there for a bit. Do you have a name? So you can talk or communicate at least. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? I do appreciate the drinks. Thank you. Appreciate company. This is what we're right now on the, the counter. How's the spelling? It's kind of iffy. It, mm. It's a little. It's not. It's not perfect. Hard, hard to it write with like, ectoplasm. I know. Imagine, imagine a finger. Probably. I hope it's a finger. A clawed finger or a human finger? Or a demon yeah, let's just go with a human finger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't like that? That's yeah, like that simple, open yeah. <laughs> Um, Do you have a name? Le... 
Live. How's it spelled? L I F. That's just short of a T and of lift. Or an e. And he lifts things. Or he wants life. Like the else life. Mm. God damn it, get off Daradeva. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm sitting here. How can I not be uh, noticed? Gil's uh, gonna walk up and ask, Are you stuck here? Do you wish to leave? Nothing happens. Mm. Still undecided. It's a ghost train. <laughs> well, I, I, I know what it means to be stuck, so. <laughs> hmm. Gonna put that in my brain for later. I want to speak aloud. Who? Is written suddenly on the table. I think he means who we are. Oh, we're the. This is a... not not in front of you, Lennis, in front of Gil. Mm. Well, like... and it's written bigger than other one, other words. Right. Mm. The sizes. Mm. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, I'm just. I'll just look at it and just say, my name is Zarafin Gilrin. Nice to meet you, friend. No. It's clearly written. Who? Bigger word. Ooh. I get a wide look at Gil. Who, indeed. Well, like. Gil, I think he means in answer to your question, who are you oh. talking to? Oh. Maybe? Uh, I'm speaking to you. A like, word, a word you, is you... written in front of Volo. Who? Uh, I'm, I'm Volo. Oh no, this the celebrity. Of course you know me. Come now. A word is written in front of Tom. Who? I'm Tom the Tabaxi. A word is written in front of Daradima. Who? Hey, hello, I'm Daradima Daffodil. Uh, we're all an adventuring gang. We're called the Daffodils. We haven't decided on the name yet, and I am Ulanis. You know, Ian Oren. Pleasure to meet you. Liff. We accomplished a great deed, and uh, Bolo here it has awarded us this building, and we're checking it out for the first time. We are thinking about living here. Would that be okay? The, the face, the the trap door flings open. <laughs> Come to hell. Uh, <laughs> I am drawn to it. As you approach it, a bag comes out of the the, the darkness. I thought you said there was nothing down there, Daffodil. It's just sacks and empty bar bar uh, barrels. What kind of sacks? It's got this sack that's levitating out of the darkness has many holes in it, and it's spilling out what seems to be flour. Oh. And it's set on the table. <laughs> Oh, I see what he's doing. <laughs> uh, care to elaborate? You know, if you want some writing utensils, I can... I, yeah, yeah. We, I, we do have pen and paper. I, yeah, no, I pull out my storybook and I find a blank page and then I take out my, my ink well and my quill and I, I kind of position it for like him to take if he needs to. The sack is thrown off the table. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen closer, you can hear, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> the Your writing utensil, what is it? The my, qu pen? my quill. Quill, quill. The quill is picked up. Do you have it inkwell? Yes, I, I said, I said it there. It's purple ink. It's poked into the inkwell. Carefully, delicately. The the feathers you notice on the 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 quill just shrivel up and die. Oh, oh my favorite quill. Whoa. And then the word Y is written on your paper. After a moment, I guess, of pausing. <laughs> yeah. After yeah. Y is <laughs> here. I think Volo is uh, short on cash, and this was his only asset he was able to provide for us. And rather than us seeking retribution for sliding us because we weren't paid our fair share, 
This is his best case scenario before we cut off his head. Uh, <laughs> I look at I look at Daffy Dill like, whoa, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> well, that's what we did to the Xanathar yeah, gang. So we might as well start Daff having a brand. Daffodil, what the hell? You don't mean that. And as he's saying that, a mug is thrown at Volo and hits him clock. Oh, the shit. <laughs> what the? What the heck? I'm sorry. What did I say? No, Volo stands up. What did I do? And another mug is thrown behind the counter at Volo. Lift, 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 lift. No, stop, stop. Daffodil was joking, joking. She was making a joke. <laughs> that was funny, right? Right? Real funny. Don't ever do that again. Mm -hmm. I understand. Volo, Volo standing back from the counter. Am I? Am I? Is that everything okay? Is, I hope so. I don't know what the hell happened with Daffodil. Daffodil, what the? What in the world? He wanted a reason. I gave him a reason. He, Is that really your reason? Carefully. Are you gonna cut his head off if he does, if he didn't provide us with the payment, proper payment? Well, we did it to the Xanathar gang. Carefully approaches the counter. We need to establish our dominance. I read that in a book. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I offended you in other ways aside from what Derek Diva said. I didn't mean anything. You can have some of my whiskey. So nevertheless... Nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, D Daffodil, we're going to have to have some very serious discussions about a few things. Well, there's a library First upstairs. Which is discussing friendship and knowing what friendship means. Because I don't think you understand that. I mean, we are friends, right, Volo? Uh, uh, yes. Close, good enough. Good insight, enough. insight, insight. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. You, you you hesitated, Volo. You can't, you can't. W why? No, I, 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 was just, I just got attacked by a, a specter. How do I, how do I think I feel in this moment? Is he lying? <laughs> He is right, uh, riled. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair point, Volo, fair point. But Daffodil, where are you from? Small village. And in your small village, was it acceptable to behead people who slighted you in a slight way? Maybe didn't pay on time or, or anything along those lines? Or insulted you? I take, I rummage through my pocket and I, I take out a coin, a dragon coin, and I flip it. No? That. Are you fucking Two Face? <laughs> <laughs> and then I take the coin and I start spinning on the counter. No? Rolling it on your your knuckles. <laughs> I, I I just remembered the the previous owner was named Lift Lift or whatever that weird name is. You remembering I that? I look at the invisible right bartender. Now. Okay, you failed seeing him. <laughs> I look in the direction. I saw the last thing to move. That back in. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately fail perception. <laughs> And no nothing happens, Volo. Volo, oh, not Volo, sorry. Uh, Lif, would it be okay if we stayed here? The, your book is taking, like, lifted from the table. I'm about to grab my scimitar. And, and it's set down in front of you again, closed. I think that's a no. So the uh, mugs, okay. all, all the mugs you saw previously behind the counter begin floating out from behind the counter in front of you. The book opens. Do you look at it, dear Diva? Okay. <laughs> in the in in bold writing, the words 
closing time is written out, and the mugs begin thro being thrown at you guys. Jesus! <laughs> run! <laughs> Grab my book and run! Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's not doing any damage to you, but the books <laughs> are being just constantly thrown in rapid fire at you guys. F -f Fucking get, get out! Book it! <laughs> what the heck is this? What did you say to him? What did you say to him, Daredeva? What in the world happened? What did you say? Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit at like one of the windows looking in. The the mugs all hit the ground. Huh. And I'm gonna sit at the window like my my uh, shoulders shrugged like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you hear a scratching no you Daredeva. hear a scratching noise next to you, Daredema. Is this still? Or is it the what is it? It's you you look you look over and you see in the dust on the floor you have a short time. That's all. Alright, so is there boards and like glass in these windows? Yes, yeah. I didn't really yeah, there, there's boards all over the place, but whatevs. But yes, definitely for those things, the windows, for sure. Well, okay. The bug begins levitating yeah, off the floor. Okay, go. I like, <laughs> I like scrambling out of this window. He doesn't like short people, it's apparently. Better. So, uh, I think this will uh... summon us, uh, sum up my experience here. <laughs> Sadly, the gift didn't work. Yeah. No, yeah. the gift didn't work. Fucker. <laughs> uh, you're you're looking through that window. And the windows. Oh, oh, there, I just crashed out of the thing. But uh, you, Lennis, you're looking through that window, and the window's still there. It's just covered up by boards. But as you're looking through the window, you see the. The flo a flower bag come over and is sprayed against the window, covering your view for a moment, but almost immediately words are written out in front of it. It writes out, I am owner of the tavern or of the I turn, building. I turn to Volo and I just go, uh huh. So, um, um, about that payment I, I, you still owe still, us. It, it's, it's a mere specter, right? It's not... I mean, you, you can, you can own this entire... You just us out throwing mugs at us and said and insisted it's still the owner. I, 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 I don't uh, know what to do with it. This is, this is insane. I didn't expect this. I knew it was... I heard tales it was haunted, but I didn't expect this level of Aggressiveness? Volo, this seems still like ample opportunity for your research. I mean, you have a quite lively specter. I'm sure this would be a wealth of... Not, where do you live? We can take that establishment and you can you can be here. I, I don't have a living arrangement in town. I just I just take it at, at an inn. I don't stay at these places. I, I travel all the time. But if you don't have the money... To pay us, then you don't have the money to stay at an inn anymore, correct? I, uh, you have to ask, though. Like, uh, is that I have friends, the deed, right? No, that is, that is Sorry, that is the deed. Hmm. Kind of want to make it worse. <laughs> Are you gonna piss off the ghost even more? I, mean, I want to put. I want to press the deed up against the glass. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> but if it's the only deed, he might tear it up. So. <laughs> I'll refrain from doing so. I mean, so the, we have the, the, pro the, the property is still the property. Were you tacked upstairs? I saw some of you guys go upstairs. I mean, no. It was quiet on my end, right, Chief? Maybe he just haunts the tavern. He well. said. I am original owner. Do you really think he's not going to go after anybody else in the house? I mean, he could have been drunk and stayed in the tavern. I, uh, 
You could try talking with him. He seems to be communicative. Oh, yeah. We tried that with Daffodil, and look how that got us. I think the main problem is kind of Daffodil. What's the last thing you said, right. Daffodil? I said, it, would it be okay if we lived here? And then he said, closing time. And then threw mugs at us. And counts that he's the original owner. So either he's a literal ghost, and it, when I asked him to, if we're if it if it was okay if we stayed here, he maybe thought that we were trying to take control of the tavern solely, and that maybe the um, house is fine if Tom didn't get attacked at the house. We could try you know, that out. Can I? Can I have a piece of paper? I have an idea. Okay. Yeah, Volo hands you a paper. I'm going to write on the paper. Can we stay in the house? Or... Or are you are you the owner of everything? I think is what I'm going to write. And I'm going to kind of show it. Should I tell him? Should I ask him? Screw it. I'm going to put the paper on the, on the, the, the window. You just hold it up there for a while? Yeah, for a few for like a minute or so. If nothing happens, I'll pull it back down. You see a puff of flour on the other side? <laughs> Anything else? You, you sit down the... You take away the paper? Yes. Tavern mine. All right, I call the attic bedroom, please. Thank you. <laughs> I you fucking jerk. Fine, I'll take the <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it, it worked out then. You want to get to the magistrate? Well, the property Make value has just de just decreased. This could have been <laughs> this could have been passive income. This quite lively establishment. Now we have to get an exorcist. We might be able to come to an arrangement with our ghostly friend. If we don't, so long as he maintains the tavern. Yes. We could provide him all the things he need, and he can provide us with money and and stuff. And I mean, he's the perfect barkeep. He'll never drink the <laughs> drink the product. He'll never eat. He doesn't need to eat. Sleepless, tireless machine. He can live machine. on the property premises twenty four seven. Hey, but he's no mere never servant. Never has to sleep. Guards the place the entire time. No mere servant. Oh, I know. I never said he was. I'd say he's an employee. Door swings open. Oh, great. I'm, I'm kind of like ducking down a little bit, expecting a mug to come. Nothing, nothing happens, but it's wide open now when you closed it before behind you. Well, I think that's Should all I been just. Just. I'm going to mage hand and close it. Mm. Forgot yeah. I got to have mage hand. I think you learned this. What he's saying, what he's saying is he should give him a hug. <laughs> well, show me how it's done, Tom. Show me how no, it's no, no, done. No, go ahead. You have, uh, you have the arm lengths for it. Oh, I think you do. No, that's just a tail. More no, than I do. Think about tail. It's crazy. Yeah, then you have three things whoa, to hug him with. I don't whoa, see the. We don't talk about the third thing, okay? Like... Your tail? You don't talk about your tail? Door opens again. <laughs> yeah, that's see, <it>, Yeah. <laughs> and the, the ink, and the pen is dropped outside. Ah, uh, what about the paper? Yeah, the paper is yours. No, oh, the book. Uh... Daffodil you let it uh, oh, right. left the book in there. And she never did say she grabbed it. I yep, did. It's set outside as well. I, I, <laughs> okay, well, then you did take yeah, it. It's mine. <laughs> well, I think we really discovered all that needs to be discovered at this establishment, so I guess we should talk to the magistrate. Mm. But um, has everyone got their permits? Permits? Yeah, I I read... Oh, permits, yes. Of I... course. Of course oh. I do. Oh. Okay. I didn't. Do you not? No. Don't answer that. Or oh, should it go permits? Yeah, I I'm also gonna lean over and go permits as well. Depends <laughs> if you stay in the city for like over ten days, then you have to start you have to be registered. And I'm coming up on mine soon enough. You hear a bang. In the, the, the tavern. I'm looking. 
Noth nothing else. Because he hates the magic. Is the door still open? Doors. The door is still open. I'm gonna mage hand close it. Shut. So we're just gonna stand outside this creepy ghost tavern. Well, I guess we're after. Or are we gonna go to the magistrate? The magistrate, yes. I guess we can go there. You have to fucking register. Yeah, apparently so. Me and Tom probably gotta do that. Do you have a? Uh... Hold on. To the to finalize the arrangement, we need a uh, twenty-five gold. So. What you're saying is that I... you're going to give us a haunted manor <laughs> that's worth a buttload of gold, but in order for us to actually get it, we have to pay no, you? No, 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 pay? no, this is, pay? This, is, this is from the magistrate. Not for me. None... Yes, I know, I corrected myself. Nonetheless, we must shell out 25 gold <laughs> for this arrangement that you're compromising for? <laughs> I, I mean, we could, we could see if Rainier. Oh hey, we probably would, sell uh, spot book. us. Oh yeah, we do have to sell that stuff. Oh, yeah. there, there, there's actually a magic store. There's a magic book store right down the road. Oh, well, that probably covers something. Yeah, Sorry. and I can always toss in some gold. I don't mind doing it. So excellent. Well, take us to this magic store. <laughs> That's... Let's get something out of this, other than a haunted man. Hold on. <laughs> Must oh change to the other man. Uh, Keith, if I look in the window, do I still see like the words that he scribbled out on the uh, tavern still there? Or yes, I just stare at it for a while. I lift, lift, turn away. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry you had to dirty up your tavern to communicate with us. <laughs> Um, we can clean it up later. Oh, jeez. Hold on. <laughs> Door opens. I look at the door, exasperated. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's no reason to close it, because if anyone tries to, uh, you know... Get in there. So Daffodil's going in, so I'm going to kind of follow up to the door, doorway, kind of poke my head uh, in, the, see what, what she's, what's going on. The bookseller? Are we, are we going? Bolo's like... <laughs> sure, we'll be back, Liv. We'll be I, back. I'm just making sure Daffodil's okay. I'm fine. We'll be back. Nice meeting you. I'm sure yes. we'll get to know each other a lot better. But like... Oh, while we're walking, Keith, I want to ask Volo, do you happen to know places where we get deals on mead or wine or anything? Because we're going to need a lot of it. <sighs> so you see the new map, by the yep. way? Yep. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. These are T, uh, do you actually see T1, by the way? I do not. No. Okay. Well, the ma the building right next to you, to the right, is the manor. Okay. This is Troll Skull. Oh, Alex. okay. Right. Oh, it's like right on the fucking street. Okay. Yes. So Volo <laughs> comes over here. He's like, just, just this way. Man, the streets um, are so. Empty. As we're walking, of course, there's there's a I'm ton of people. I'm going to look around and see what kind of a neighborhood this is. Yeah, it, it's. Is this like a well-to-do neighborhood, or is this like a? Uh, it kind of a. a it's it's middle place? class. You would probably say. It's not like it's not perfect, but it's certainly not. A slums or anything like that. Some sightseeing. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is carefully reading quickly. Yeah, no, take it down. Take it down. All right. The front of this bookstore is adorned with a charming sign of a gold dragon curled around a treasure hoard of books, scrolls, uh, books and scrolls. And Volo steps up and enters the building. Whoop. This one yep. here? Okay. I will I will follow him since I have the I have the actual scroll. Inside you see the, the shop is decorated with beautiful hardwood hardwood and the earthy scent of old books permeates the air. It fills two two floors. 
Just this first floor alone, with just shelvings upon shelvings of books. Okay, I have a question. So we leveled up last yes. session, but we did not sleep, correct? Yes. So technically, you're not leveled up, but I don't mind personally. Okay, because I I filled it in as if I got all my uh, stuff. It's no big deal to me. You could you could level up now. Hello. Oh, right, okay. Excuse me, shopkeeper. Oh, I already am already leveled. Mm -hmm. Who's there? Hi. And you see a a gold skin dragon dragon board step out around the corner. Oh, customers. How can I help you this day? Do you have any quills that are have that are purple flower uh the feathers? Purple feathered flower quills. Well, no, hmm. purple pu sorry, I stumbled. Purple feather quills. Oh, yeah, I just might. I just might. He turns and goes behind the counter and opens up a a, a box. Filled with quills. Aha! Hmm. Hmm. Uh -huh. Pulls out a quill. Fitting your needs. Will this do? I pull out my, my poor shriveled feather quill. Oh my... dear lord, what did you do to that thing? I wrote an evil poem. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense the dread coming off of it. Certainly. I really, I really bared my soul. May I see that one? Of course, of course. He heads, he heads his over his quill. Always carefully looking at yours. Dear Lord. How, how, how much? Whatever the price of quills are nowadays. Okay, I'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> smooth cover, Keith. Smooth cover. <laughs> And yes, uh, you, half elf. How could I help? Ah, oh, yes. Um, I recently acquired this, and I kind of hold up the, the the book, wipe off a bit of blood. And uh, I was just wondering about how much I could uh, <laughs> was I could it, sell was it. Was that blood? <laughs> now don't worry about it. It was it was wine. We we You're had. Looking to sell? Yes, yes. I'm looking to sell this, and yes, it was wine. Let, let me see it. Reach out a hand. I hand it over. Takes it over, begins flipping through it. Hmm. Hmm. Are you. Do you happen to be. I, I suppose that you're selling this to me. You don't. You're not a uh, wizard? Where did your accent come I, from? I, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not a wizard. <laughs> you're not a wizard. Okay, well, there, there is Very. a. Very if disconcerting. There's like a, a wizard in your group. I do offer spell books to copy from. For a fee, of course. So, how much would you buy it off but of this, me? For? This one, this one seems quite interesting. Many, many first level spells here. I will give you a hundred and fifty gold. <coughs> That's all you can do. Of course, these are spells. They're merely one first level spells, but spells in their own right. This is magic you have here. What? Are there any... Is this a fair price? Would I know that? Yes. Are there are there any spells about detaching heads? Okay. <laughs> detaching heads? You know, like... Ignore her. She's on a weird thing lately. Just... Uh... -huh. uh Anyway, back to the book. Yes, uh, I think uh, 150 gold was more than fair. I'll take it. Thank you. Yes, it, this is a fine deal. Fine deal. Uh, my, my name is Rashal, the page turner. He ah, lightly bows yes. to you. I am Yulanis. Thank you for your <laughs> merchandise, I suppose. Yeah, if you no have friend. more books, I will gladly... Accept them as well for payment, of course. Mr. Page Turner? Thank you. It is appreciated. Yes. Uh, here's two copper. Oh, yeah, this is. I, I t I'll take that, okay? What is this for? It's for the quill. Oh, oh it's for the quill. The, the, the prices for quills just go through my mind all the time. It's like I was barely ever a bookseller. <laughs> Dang, Daffodil. I knew you weren't a sociopath. Proud of you. I look. I look back at him with 
a vision of eight. <laughs> it's kind of missed because it's so short and adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Mr. Pager, I'm a I'm a storyteller. Uh, do you have any storybooks? Of course, I have many books, many many books. Is there is there like one with a collection of short stories or um uh, like big novels? Are you are you looking for action, romance, drama? Do you have a third? Kind of kind of goes to one of the shelves and then he has one of those rolly rolling uh ladders. Ladder hall. Oh. So it's going up it. I think I know just what you need. It goes. I'm gonna look at. Up. I'm gonna look at Daffodil, and just say. She seems like a tragedy type to me. Exactly what I was going for. <laughs> he, he, he kicks off from the shelf and then slides down the down the the row, coming to a stop in front of one. Damn. We know you too well, Daffodil. <laughs> well, you know, I always so this... like to be open and express myself. My dad oh, said to Except for you're trying to murder people. It's all self-defense. He kicks oh. out again with a deaf move. You're quite dexterous, sir. I have trained all my life on these shelves, you could say. <laughs> and he comes perfectly in the stop in front of you and then climbs back down. Is he a, a human? He's a dragonborn. Dragonborn. Oh, right, right, right. You did say that. I forgot. And he hands you a book. This one filled with tragedies. <laughs> what a sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Complete depression this is. That'll be five gold. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Do you, you have any, do you have anything about fables? Of course, of course. Oh, man. I'll purchase one book, please. Books are 25 mm -hmm. gold. Wait, I look at that. Like, how much for one book? 25. <laughs> 25. Yes. Books, they're not easy to make. We don't have printing presses. It, are you... All. Is there a library? I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stumbled over that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> <And>, oh, shit. <laughs> I, I offer some time to, you know, read a book, but I go out of business if I let people just... Read the whole thing. I understand. Well, like, uh, can I make note of the title that you pulled? I really appreciate you going through the effort, but uh, we're just a little short on cash, but I, I think that we will also make a lot more money. We just need to, uh, you know that, that house down the street, the uh, Skull Troll Manor? Yes. Well, yeah, uh, yes, the we, Troll Skull Manor. That's a depressing place, all right. Well, we're, I, I, you, you probably came from there, didn't you? Certainly. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, we're we're gonna really freshen it up and make it quite a lovely place to be. Uh, but so we'll be close With by. You? Of course. <laughs> Why don't you get the hell out of my store? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it could use a, a pick me up. Certainly. Kind of been a gloom upon the neighborhood for a while mm, and we hope to rectify that but uh, unfortunately I, I i can't afford this book right now but like i said i'll, I'll write down the, the the title and when yeah, i come back lavenous depressions <laughs> absolutely lovely <laughs> comes free with this rope as well <laughs> <laughs> He, t he takes the book back, so it's to the side. Thank you, Mr. Page Turner. I'm satisfied. I'm not. I just, I just dejectedly walk away. <laughs> well, actually, now you have the money to pay for the the magistrate. Not yeah, that we so. should be fucking paying for it. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Good day. Good day. He yeah, disappears behind the shelves again. <laughs> No. <laughs> on 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 the way over, by the way, you did pass a building that also had a sign out in front. It looked like an orange and black 
sign featuring a cat's eye, but aside from that, nothing else remarkable about it. So he just did it. Okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was this building, by the way. I had I'll the cat's keep, eye. Yeah, I'll keep that for later. <laughs> <laughs> but to the magistrates. Or the magistrates. Yes, away. All right, the magistrates. Volo, where is it? Oh, we gotta go to the administration buildings. It's quite a journey. Well, not quite that journey. Close enough. <laughs> oh, uh, while we're walking, I'm gonna ask Volo, Keith. Uh, do you know any place where we can get a deal on like mead or wine or anything to stock our ghost tavern? Y yes, you could just uh, make deals with the the merchants. You, oh. The oh, merchant right. guild themselves, they could offer you deals. You, you'll need to sign good. up with them anyway if you're practicing any type of trade. Mm. Well, you know, the associate deep. guilds, they all have connections. You always have to work for their connections, mm -hmm. as always, mm -hmm. within Waterdeep. Also, can we get this, uh, I turn it to what was it, permits at this administration building as well? Yeah, we have yes. to register. All right, Tom. That's why we sold the book. We're getting the money to register. So like, well, that was for the um the the haunted manor, but apparently we need a permit if we're in here more than ten there, days. There's uh this <laughs> this is to oversee the official transfer ship of yeah. the deed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to get your own permits past that. Yeah. If you're, if you're... Oh, I would already have one since I've been living in the city for so long. I would not. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ask about that. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll have to get a permit too. I'm actually yeah. have a residence. Man, <laughs> wild. Yeah, ye old DMV now. <laughs> so, you guys all go over to the the courthouse in the castle ward around high noon. Well, high sun. Sorry. And you're you're led through a a courthouse building. <laughs> You know, many, many people waiting in lines and so on and so forth, just, but in all nice suits and ties. And you're set down in the lobby and Volo, he's like, just, just wait here, I just gotta see if my arrangement is in place. This really is ye old DMV. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking joking. <laughs> He goes over and just talks to the official and trades words. He's like, okay. And he comes back and he's like, okay, just we'll call us up when uh, the magistrate is ready to see us. See us. So we're just sitting yeah, there bored yeah, out of our minds. It's waiting. pretty boring. Yep. <laughs> and we don't even have smartphones to keep us occupied, so I, we're just sitting there. I have, okay, I have my well, storybook. Is there any, like, you know, arguing going on? Of course. I mean, there's people just having discussions here and there all over the place to pass the time. They don't have goddamn cell phones. You bet you're sure they're talking to people. I'm on the fucking post my or something. I don't see a damn thing or hear anything. Fuck it. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so funny. Fucking what's that? <laughs> I'm going to sit there playing with ma uh, Minor Illusion. Oh, wait. Let me check if I have that. I think I did. I'll just be finicking around with my scarf and the yeah. thing under it. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, I'll just be sitting there playing with minor illusion. <laughs> Can I? I, I, I start minor illusioning to combat your minor illusion. And we both get super into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's caught my attention super hard. <laughs> just like there's like, then, like a cavalry coming across like the halls and. Not the halls, but like the air. Yeah, like having like a small it's, war. It's a small effect, so it'd probably be like a small like yeah, individual person. Yeah, yeah. Like about You're spellcasting as the guard shows up next to you. <laughs> You're in a court of law. No magic is allowed within our provinces. While he's doing this, the minor illusion, it turns into the guard and just goes... Nye, 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 nye. He can't hear it because it doesn't make any sound. Mm -hmm. But then it just poof, out of existence. And I just roll my eyes and said, yes, sir. Good. Do you stop as well, Daredevil? Yes, I stop. Okay, he walks away. But he still sta he still stands on the sidelines while overlooking the lobby. 
Uh, then shortly thereafter, you're uh, a person to shout out, Foldo and company? He's like, oh, that's us. And he stands up and walks over. And the official is just like, in, in room 32, down the hallway. He's like, okay. And then he walks down the hallway to room 32. And you open up to a small office with a woman sitting behind a hardwood desk who looks up as you enter. There's enough chairs for all of you situated on her on the other side from her. I pick the middle chair and I scramble mm. up and situate myself on it. I presume you are Volo and company here to oversee the deed transfer? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. That is correct. Yes, this, yes. I want to trade my uh, transfer my deed to their ownership. Well, it was like, and it hands over the deed. Yes, yes. Let's see here now. She starts flipping through the documents. I see I forgot to feed my cats who I need to feed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost had me going now. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Started meowing oh, incessantly at me. <laughs> so for some reason, I'm like the. <laughs> can we actually, if you're gonna go feed your cats, can we take a bit of a break? Yeah, sure. I'm really hungry. I want to go get some food. Sure. Okay, I'll I'll go AFK, grab some food real quick, and then we'll come back in maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, take time. Mm -hmm. I'm just really hungry. Ow, dogs! Why? That's my foot. Ow. Anyway, bear back. Bear. So, ghost bartender, huh? <laughs> I mean, sure, I'm not gonna get in there, but, uh... <laughs> fucking gnome, take a damn Abby. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I was gonna say, if they would allow arrow slits on the third floor... <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, God, we're going to have to spend seven hours here now to get those fucking permits. <laughs> <laughs> it just dawned on me. <laughs> uh, bureaucracy. Yeah, Sucks. Fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Every time. Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. Oh, damn it. Got to pop up a new case for my cat food. Oh, oh, oh it's right. It's like that. Look. So... Basically, from what I'm going to gather, that was the ghost saying, don't be a shit in my bar. So, <laughs> that's what I'm going to walk away from with that. I mean, just for the sake of cleanliness, you perhaps buy like a chalkboard of some chalk. Right, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, absolutely. We're going to have to clean up several parts of this place, but it's nice to have a home. <laughs> oh, wait, Chris, did you get the... um? The drops for the new uh, Railjack stuff? Thing? For, for, right. I've gotten two materials. Oh, no, um, yeah, two materials. I've gotten, I think, 20 carbides and I think 10 cubic nodes. No, Those no, two no. Materials right. for no, for the login because of uh, oh. the dry dock thing. Which yeah. release. Oh. Oh. Do you mean the affinity shit? Yeah, the affinity, the lunar symbol, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the, yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah, it, it's it was going on all uh, weekend with the affinity booster, so yeah. I really wish I realized that because I would have been, I would have just been Wrestling. running freaking um at mm. index all weekend. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. No, shit. I, I didn't, I didn't realize it until now. Oh, well, not now. Like, I'm running, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, flick, 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 flick. But yeah, no, like, I, cause like there was a whole bunch of new resources to actually build the the dry dock in Railjack now. So, like, I just started getting random drops. The Eximus seemed to drop. I think it's carbid parts. And then the other thing was cubic nodes. I don't know what dropped that because I was in the middle of a survive mission getting my ass kicked, so I was too scared to pay attention. Okay, so we have to collect new materials then. Right, so, yeah, it's, um, there's, so far, three parts, like I said. We got to make the dry dock. The next one is the AI, which is, like, Seppel and Spy, I think it's called. And, and then... Exactly, yeah. Then it's going to be actually find the parts to build the Railjack, which is what I think that quest is, that, that we get for okay. it. So, yeah, so that's all that I have on that now. I told the guys, so hopefully one of these days, Bob and someone will kick off the construction and we'll work on that. But like I said, unfortunately, mutagen masses. Yep. 
I, I'm I'm ready to get by the way. Yeah. Uh, Jim, I'm back. He's Don't think not so. gonna be back for like 15 minutes. He said. Okay. So 15 minutes. Quietly... Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah you, 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 you didn't hear that? <laughs> yeah. I was busy feeding my cats. Oh, all right. <laughs> you acknowledge it. You were like, okay, see ya. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, welcome back. We just chill and wait for Jay to get back. I'm guessing he ran out to grab food. Yeah. <laughs> now, do wait, we... So, we? So we have everyone here but J Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like, yep, yep, everyone else is here. Okay, well, we continue. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yes, yes, it seems everything's here. Just, I just need the. The gold transfer, twenty-five gold. My cats are fed now. Yes. I politely <laughs> hand the gold that Jamon had for no reason. Other yeah. Than it. <laughs> oh. Yes. She she signs some of the papers. All right, so we're done here. Uh, I have to ask a question. How do I change my residency from uh, the streets to a house? Are you an official citizen of Waterdeep? Then don't talk to the right officials. Now get out of my office. Oh, gee. Okay. Hey. Yep. Uh, sounds like bureaucracy, all right? Uh, just, like, just like the DMV. Yeah. yeah. Boy. All right. Okay. Uh, Volo stands up and starts walking out. I turn to Tom like, we really got to find out how to get permits. <laughs> I didn't know there were permits. Not, neither did I, but apparently so. But like, I'll, uh, I'll tap Volo on the shoulder and I'll ask him, uh, Volo, do you know where we have to stand to get permits? Uh, you just talk to the receptionist here. Oh, okay. Well, well go I guess talk. I'll call Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> we'll go to the receptionist. Yeah, you, you kept the wait in line a little bit, but then you got to her. Yeah. Can I help you? I uh, say uh, good afternoon. Uh, me and my friend here, Almost and Tom, are looking to get permits for the city. How do we go about this? Permits for place of residence? <coughs> yes, yes, to live in the yeah, because we'll be in there for extended time. All right. She she goes stands up, goes to a, like a file drawer, takes out some files, <laughs> and hands them over to you. Like I just sign, just uh, agree to the terms here, here, and here. <laughs> Inside here, here, and here. <laughs> uh, words begin to blur together as we read. Um. <laughs> and it's a payment of one gold. And I will sign it, and I'll give her the one gold and push her towards her. <laughs> Same Thanks. here. I'll hand over one of guild gold. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, yeah. All right, you're good. All right, beautiful. Do we, do we get like cards or some crap? Like, how does that work now? <laughs> Your uh, here's copies. All right, beautiful. I was gonna say if we get stopped and we don't have this, like, are we gonna get in trouble now? <laughs> you don't need to keep it on your person at all times. Just keep it within your home. Yeah. Minus one gold. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. <laughs> good day to you as well. Yeah, we got it. Permits. Now he won't get arrested after staying here for a week. <laughs> yeah, in case that this gets brought up. Well, well as you as you as you step outside, well, it's like, well, there you go. My uh, promise is fulfilled. If you ever uh, see me around, you see me in a bar, just come by. I plan to leave soon, sadly, but uh, you, you're, as long as you plan not to sell the place, I'll show up at your own tavern it, itself if you get it back in order. That is. Or I'll knock at your door. Whoever right. knows when Volo will appear. Or well, speak to himself forward. in the third person. <laughs> I'm looking forward to any uh, new things. Yeah, I was looking forward to that. Oh, that was kind of fun. Ha <laughs> 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 troll. Please. Yeah, you seem Goblin. to be. <laughs> Especially after this, I know, I know you're capable. If I ever need a job, I'll probably come to you guys. Yeah, tis an honor, Volo. Goodbye, friends. Yeah, salutations. <laughs> was good he walks, he begins walking away. Into the distance. <laughs> as, as the sun sets all around him. Uh, <laughs> I turn to our group and I'm like, so are we actually staying in the haunted house tonight? <laughs> Dude, are we? 
could make a pillow fortress. Yeah, yeah, that that's what I want to do. <laughs> I can't see if there's any like investigate bodies left over. You have to buy all the types bones, of furniture. Uh, I can go furniture. buy some holy water have, and throw it around myself. You have a bedroll, <laughs> yeah, a bed roll, right? So like Christ, like indeed. Yeah, then we have all then we have all we need. <laughs> I suppose we'll go furniture shopping another day. <laughs> I was gonna say we could take the stools from the bar. <laughs> you probably killed. I, I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Need I remind you, my bar? He said. <laughs> Jesus, really? All right. Uh, actually, I'm curious. I want to stop by that weird cat sign door that God pointed out to us. <laughs> the hell you do. <laughs> so you walk all the way back to the troll skull manor. Uh, Ali, I go to Cat Eye, please. Yeah, because uh, you're I'll at the you're in, you're deep in the castle ward right now at the courthouse. So you didn't say it was here. Oh well, I, thought I mean, we yeah, 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 this yeah, is all theater of the mind right now. So no, no, yeah, yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah. I'll follow Tom back to that Cat's Eye place because I'm curious myself. Glennis is following them just because I say so. <laughs> Dear Diva. Yes. I hand back my paper. I sorry. I handed my paperwork to the receptionist. Yeah, she un- takes it under the name Clara Edelweiss. Okay. Yeah, she notarizes it. All right, and I get my copy back. Yep. And I trot after my peers. Okay, so not too long after you stop in front of the house with. A cat's eye for a symbol on the sign. What do you do? I we go Is in. The door closed. Yeah. Yeah, the door's closed. Of course, it's fucking closed. Are we savages? I mean, is it daytime? Or something like that? Yeah, it's oh, daytime. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's daytime. So why are you teasing us like this? <laughs> <laughs> I just said it's only other only other uh, building with a, a sign. All other buildings do not have signs. Anything on it to give it any time, any time of identification or markings? Yeah, let's. Nope, just a uh, orange and black sign featuring a cat's eye. Hmm. Should we knock? There's a a bell in front of the, on the side of the door. Oh, well. Did we want to pull it? I'm, I'm too I rolled to is it like check the trash. Is it in, within my reach? <laughs> is there another year? You ring it, dear diva. Is it within my reach? Yes, yes, it is. It seems to be leveled for little folk to reach. I pull the string. Ring, ding, ding, ding. ding. As it comes from inside the building, and the bell outside also rings. And shortly thereafter. The door opens to a man, a human man, in a sharp suit and smoking a slim pipe. He's like, hello? How can I help you? Hi. Uh, So we just moved in down the street in the uh, Troll School Manor, and we were Mm. wanting to get to know our neighbors. So I'm Daredema. Pleasure. What's your name? I am Vincent Trench. Detective here at the owner of the tiger's eye. Oh, detective. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you have a need of clues, you need to be found. Information, in private eye, let's say. I'm your man. I don't come cheap, though. But, uh, it's yeah. a fine business. How long have you been detecting? Hmm, for. He kind of scratches at his chin. GM reads he does, his notes. He does have a, a thick beard. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess for 20 years now. Wow. He looks like he's in his later middle ages. I'm glued to his every word. And how does uh, how does one become an official detective? <laughs> well, there's, of course, the Guild of Detectiveness. <gasps> yes. I'm sure. He's a I'm fucking sure. guilt for everything. <laughs> <laughs> How does one join such a business? Well, you must approach the guild itself, prove that you have the capabilities to become a detective, I and, pay their, and, pay, and, and pay their fees. Uh, 
<laughs> That's the fee. <laughs> hey, wait, are you the guild? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got a text. <laughs> Paper bird flew into my face. <laughs> <laughs> New paper bird, who dis? <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, uh, what was your last question? So, like, the where, where, where can I where can I find this guild? Are you the guild? I mean, you just have to. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> you just have to uh, check in with the courthouse. They have all the connections and the contacts you need to get to to get find the guilds oh, okay ulanis but, uh, i see that your your eyes have cleared up you were looking kind of foggy in the days there so this is mr uh vincent trench he's a detective he yes if you ever need investigation having a, a dead end situation just come to me you could work out a fee you since you've lived anything about a lift Yes. The the previous owner or current owner of the tavern part of Troll School. Oh, sorry, you were asking me about who Liv is. Yes. Did you know them? Not extremely well. The tavern wasn't my enjoyment for a past evening, but uh, I did have some passing acquaintances that uh came there often. Yes, Lyft was the previous owner. He's dead gosh, I guess three years now. Do you know how he died? It seemed to be just natural causes, if I remember correctly. Did you investigate? No. <laughs> no, not everything needs an investigation, Lassie. So, uh, I, I have I have to ask for the, in your opinion, would finding a missing person and stabbing a squiddly face thing in the sewers count as a good reason or a qualification to join this guild? I, <laughs> I don't think uh, murder is involved with investigations. I don't know. We prevented a murder. We find a missing person. You prevented a murder. <laughs> well, I, I'm not one to protect the laws either. I just find things. Yes, yes, I can see that. Let's discover the troops. Work. Do you work with... I suppose if you continue along that path, you might qualify. Do you work with the city guard? I... I... It's a tricky subject when it comes to the city guard. I am not recognized by them. I'm a more private investigator. I do cross paths with them many times over my career, but what I do is not illegal at all. Yep. They just don't partake of my services. <laughs> they have their own investigators. He, he's, you know, that's out a small, small, uh, small blow from his pipe. Pipe. Is there anything that you can publicly say about what you're investigating right now? <sighs> no, I have a confidentiality agreement with my clients. We understand. Of course, you could always become my clients, and then we could have our own confidentiality. That sounds lovely. Typical uh, investigation, just for your own knowledge. Typically costs around 50 gold. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> Everyone's got to earn money. <laughs> well, I, I was like, we were just talking about hunters. Where are we going to pay the buff fee? <laughs> well, thank you for answering the door. You've been pleasant and forthcoming. Uh, we mm -hmm. really appreciate it, and uh, we hope to see you around. We're thinking that this is a lovely neighborhood. Yes, well, welcome to Troll Skull Alley. Thank you. So, did we pay the magistrate person for the? Yes, you the did. Thing? Yep, we got, and we got our permits. Cool. <laughs> and it was 25 gold? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then one, yeah, one gold for uh, the permits. I already have mine, so I don't yeah, care about that. Yeah. 
I, t- I paid my own gold for well, that. You will care when they start taxing you. Yeah, here. <laughs> that is a uh, the detective guild. Oh my god. <laughs> Tom has. They really need f- fucking guilds for everything. Jesus Christ! I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew it was that Everything. expensive. Everything. I never knew it was that extensive. <laughs> well, I guess we should go to the house and just uh, get adjusted to it, I guess. Yeah. Might as well start dusting some shit off. Okay, I'm about to have to find some place to get beds and shit, I would imagine. I love this. I put it in my notes. Liff, our ghost bartender. Cool. <laughs> but uh you know you get pebbles man you got more than enough on the roof oh man awesome if we're gonna live in some kind of comfort it'd be nice if we get beds eventually <laughs> dude i'm living in comfort right now <laughs> so uh we're gonna, we're gonna check out this house right yep i'm down for it dust the place Wait. off so you're going back to uh, Troll Skull Manor? Yep. Manor? yep. Okay. Claim our rooms and dust that place off a bit. And seeing as how the gnome wants the attic, I'll take the room below the attic. Uh, the massive attic. Yes, because I need to sleep pleasant dreams. Vol- yeah, Vol- Volo left as well. You left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bye, Volo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just want something high. That's the grab. Um, God. You guys are weird. I'm gonna take the second yes, room bedroom. God asks, "What do you want, child?" Would, would you qualify this bedroom, as a noble estate? Mm. No. Okay, an inn. Yes. Well, no, a tavern. There's an option for that. Okay. Not really. I am scared. There's Unless a, you like, decide to convert the upper floor into an, a room service. I'm just looking at maintenance costs. T- you know, daily cost per day. How many like skilled hirelings and untrained on page 127 of the play of the dungeon master's guide? I want to know how much this place is going to cost us. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. To <laughs> renov- Who's renovate the place back over to uh you know find find enough for business it's 1000 gold for guild licenses and contracts paid up front it's 250 gold my dreams keep getting slipping further and further away <laughs> yeah my <laughs> for maintenance fees during the 10 day it's 50 gold So okay. what you're saying is long-term goals is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it can, it can, you can get uh, if somehow you open up the tavern, you could actually have a business and run a business and earn money off said business. Oh. How would it be just to fix up the tavern? All right, don't have that. Uh, it's right still, there. it's still, it's one thousand gold. God. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be some long range goals, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, once again, there, uh, I will hold on. The book, keep talk, I will, I'll, I'm gonna look through. I might find it. Uh, if it's it climbs against a st- city theft. So theft uh, prize is if we do theft, when you know we get a hostel stay for ten day, uh, hard labor. They'll they'll hey hard labor. So if we steal something, we'll get hard labor. So for a year. So that means that we can get people to work on the building for us. No, if we steal something, we do hard labor for a year. What, what, why is that? Because it's punishment for stealing something. But we need the money. And Pay. you're not going to get money stealing it. I, uh, I don't think uh, dynamic lighting is necessary in this map. So... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is Thank the you. dynamic lighting off for you guys? Nope. No, no. Just follows the camera. no, I still see it's it. Still on. Yeah. Mm, weird. I still I have it off, but it's... Glo- do you have global, should, uh, global all you elimination have to do is on? Reveal the players. Yeah. Oh, I see. 
there. How about now? Hello. Yeah, yeah perfect. I'm in the tavern. Go the, I'm gonna go to the cavern. Uh, common rooms. Is this my bedroom? Yeah, that's the attic. Okay. Haha. <laughs> that's I'm the only... attic storage. Oh, this is my bedroom. I'm, I'm gonna leave all my stuff in the. Method. There's yeah, there's quite a number of floors. This is the room I'm claiming. Kill. What the? Look, is the uh, tavern door still open? No. <laughs> mm, it's not. All right. Oh, yeah, Hannah. The ghost. Holy Christ! Like, nah, nah. Save that for another time. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, what about this room I'm in? Is that a bedroom? That's uh. I mean, it can. It's empty. So it can oh, be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if no one else takes it, I'll be more than happy or... to sit in my bedroom. You could do the uh, bedroom right there that has a bathroom. Oh, like Christ! Like, oh, there's a bathroom. All right, that, fuck it. This is a this is a bedroom right where, there. Where I'm picking up north is the balcony. Okay. Just FI. All right. I where thought so. Going? Yeah. I'll just set up here. Then I'll set up my bedroll here. Look at that. Everyone has. Uh, oh, I like the little type out of the name. Derdima's <laughs> bedroom. <laughs> Tom's bed. Oh, everyone's doing it now. I don't even. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I wasn't I'm... even doing that. <laughs> Elf man lair. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see it. There you go. Wait. There you go. Hey. Thank you. You're welcome. So now that there's a dedicated place to sleep, I go down to the common rooms. And um. Yeah, yeah you we, have to, we have to draw up to work. It's all, everything's empty. There's, yeah, there's nothing here. You're Yo. welcome to add anything you want to it, as long as you get the, some idea of prices. Hmm. I suppose first we should probably begin dusting this place off, huh? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of awkward to either, you just have to stand there. There's no seating. <laughs> yeah, all. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. That's... But, um, for the most part, the other, this is just, okay. it's just thinking like, we gotta find some line of work here, cause you, you just join the guild that's two hundred gold. Fucking nuts. Better be a few yeah. But like, but like, possibly take on some bounties or something. Possibly with the guard. I mean, yeah, looking seven for things. We're good. We're good with that. There should be a. Uh, By the way, it's uh, it's it's three p.m. The job board. Three p.m. All right, it's still afternoon. There might be a job board somewhere around in here in the oh. city. I've never had need to use it, but it might be something we can look into. Hmm. Is there an actual job board? I'm assuming there. Uh. Oh God. Hmm. Oh. I mean, if you, me. if you think about it, you know, the yawning portals pretty much a place where you could get jobs. In a way. By going down into well, the that's portal. one of the options, but everyone tells you, everyone Underground? tells you you'll die if you do that. So probably not that. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not die just yet. So I guess the yawning portal once again and see if there's any uh, free work. Cause man, we yep. gotta fix this place up. Absolutely. You hear a knock at your door. Whose door? Your door. The front door. My door. Oh, the, the front, front door. door. Yes, so there? that's the front door. I look through the peephole. Who do I see? Jalister Silvermane. Our friend. All of our friends. I kind of stop, <laughs> blink, blink a few times, thinking, how the hell does he know where we're... Whatever. And I undo the, the, the deadbolt and open it up and say, Jalister! Hello! What, what, what are you doing I here? I just came to congratulate... I heard from Volo that you transferred the deed. Your own ownership. Yes. And I want to congratulate you. We own this place now, and now we got to figure out what to do with it. Over your shoulder. As you can see, it's a bit. Come on in. Come on in. There's no seating because we don't have any furniture at all. We own a ghost house. Yes. Is he? And there's a ghost session. downstairs. I assume you're having a lack of funds right now. Y yes. <laughs> Uh, How did you know? It's good that I came. Did the old man in the tavern <laughs> sent you? <laughs> I uh, I heard about your deeds from uh, 
not Volo himself, but I heard from Rainier. Never Ember. By the way, roll roll a uh, history check for Rainier again. Never Ember, that is. Well, Helenius got it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Natural 20. Zero, yeah. yeah. Give me <laughs> All right, you let us. I can't use it there. <laughs> <laughs> Give me everything. I everything. I want this guy's passwords. I want his bank account it's, information. Uh, Rainier never ember was. Oh, well, I guess it's right there. But um, you know, it's kind of a big deal because I, I mentioned it before that his father was the open lord, previous open lord. But he wasn't just the open lord, the the father. He was the ruler and is still the ruler, well, in name because he likes to call himself the Lord Protector, as you know. Of Never Neverwinter as well, the city of Neverwinter. Oh shit! So not only was he not too long ago the open lord of this city, he was also the the ruler of Neverwinter. Just FYI. Oh fuck! Uh, do I know? Well, so we did a good solid by saving his ass. Quick question, Keith. I got that nineteen. Do I know that too? Yes, that's good enough. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say like, man, you know. They, man, they really wanted what they thought you knew, and no, no, no. This is Jalister. He's just saying. Oh, he's, talk, he's talking about Rainier. I, I look at Tom like, what the fuck are yeah. you talking I complete, about? I completely was like, wait. I, it just, <laughs> I, like like when when Jalister like, brings up the name Rainier, you just get re reminded that like, yeah, that was a very powerful figure. Well, n him himself probably not very powerful, but his connection. So okay, I, I'm assuming what you're saying is we're gonna get rewarded for that. Potentially. Yeah. It could be. Could be. But uh Chalicers, like I said, okay. I heard from uh Rainier about your heroic exploits in saving his friend of Floon during the day. You mean Volo? No, no, no. Floon. Flagmar. Right. You heard from I heard from Volo about the the, the yes. transfer of ownership, okay, but I heard, I heard from Rainier about your heroic deeds in saving Floon. Okay. Yes, we saved Floon. It was, uh, well, it is a bit bit worrying given what we fought, but they ran and we survived. Yes. Well, you seem to place the security of the city ahead of your own, uh, your own security, that is. And I was wondering if you wanted to become recruits of the Lord's Alliance. What is the Lord's Alliance? Oh, by the way, come in, come in, come in. And I close the door and yeah, lock it behind him. Thank you, thank you. Nice uh, place. <laughs> it's a bit barren, as you can tell, but... It's a, you don't have to we'll lie about it. All just yet. Yes, I, I'm, I can offer you membership, beginning membership, mind you, into the Lord's Alliance. The Lord's Alliance is agreement between all the open cities of uh, the Sword Coast, North Veyrune, that is, into a protectorship of security across the land. Hmm. Is there mystery and intrigue? I, you know, there can be. I, I certainly got into my own scruffles uh, and dangers along the journey myself. Ooh, ooh, I'll go the other guys. And if, <laughs> and if I, if we were to accept, what would our, what would our duties and responsibilities be? Uh, I would have to talk to officials, but likely, uh. You would start out at the, the beginning, so just overlooking some patrols, things like that. Maybe checking out a small time investigation here and there. Ah, uh, so we would be law enforcers. Yes, but you would not be city watch. You'd you'd be more free to roam. Jalister, roam. Jalister, Jalister, Jalister. Let me tell you about a companion of ours who, let's just say she is very unfamiliar with the law to the point that she thinks that the law is a I, I, set of challenges. I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm not really familiar. I know your whole group aside from that fellow over there. What's her name, sir? As he points to Gil. Like, <laughs> Gil just looks uh, slightly surprised like, oh, um, Zareth Gilruin, sir, and I bow to him. Jouster Silver. 
Absolutely. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes. Well, I, it, I'm not asking for your whole group to join. I just any one of you can sign up, and I can offer them the jobs. So, what if hypothetically we're uh, doing a job and we need to do something that the, uh, you know, rules and regulations have to turn a blind eye to? You know, like not taking or jumping a second story window. I hope that would never come to pass. But I mean, in order to uh, pursue the justice that uh, we need to uphold. That reach. I, uh... <laughs> That reach. <laughs> I don't think, Tom, you're quite the right guy we're looking for, but uh, <laughs> you can keep your hopes up. But... Just, just keep in mind, that's, uh, that's I, I get the feeling you don't quite like the deal, but just, if you ever show interest, I'll be at the Yawning Portal around noon, uh, at the the mid, uh, so high, high sun, high sun. <laughs> 